What's up everyone? We're new here. So uh, I was asking you on my Instagram what you like you guys would like to see on my uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, so I see a lot of people asking for advices about um, mental toughness, uh, motivation, um, techniques, asking me to teach some stuff. So there's a lot of things, but I think I believe there's a lot of uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of information about techniques um, on, on YouTube, so it's easy to people, people find, okay? Um, I have some like my favorite positions, some things that I've been working on for so long ago that I would like to show one day, but uh, I believe that now, for now, I'm gonna work more with some advices, share with you guys uh, my experience um, throughout those uh, 20 years of Jiu Jitsu, so, first of all, I would like to start like telling you guys like how Jiu Jitsu, uh, how Jiu Jitsu competition can help you guys uh, with your life out of the mat, you know, like off the mat. So, um, it, I, I I always tell my students that you don't have to you don't you don't have to be a competitor if you don't want to be a competitor. If you don't like competition, fine. It's a it's not there's not a problem at all. A lot of people come to me and say, hey, Professor, sorry, I cannot compete. Sorry, I don't like to compete. It's like, uh, okay, okay. So, but first, try once. And then you let me know if you like or if you hate it. So, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, response you give it to me. I'll be fine with it. If you like, if you love it, keep going. If you don't like, you don't have to do it anymore. So, but... The, 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 the positive side that I see in the competitions thing is that um, that challenge, you know, that, that feeling of like, I cannot give up, I cannot quit, I have to keep going. So once I learned, I understood those feelings, I started to apply in my daily life. So um, uh, it's like, you know, you are in a situation where the guy is trying to pass your guard and then you, 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 can't, you can't just stop and let him pass your guard, otherwise you're going to score the points or, or hit you with a submission, you know, and then you'll be like in trouble. You cannot just simply like, ah, oh, whatever, um, he's passing, it's hard to, to block his pass guard, and then I'll just let him pass. No, you don't want to do that, right? Nobody wants to lose in a competition. So... And then when you take that situation, that, that, that feeling that makes you, okay, I wanna quit, I wanna give up, it's not for me, and blah, blah, blah. And then you, 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 you let the guy pass your guard. And then you're, you're telling yourself that when things get bad, you, you can just simply like, ah, whatever, I give up. Which is like, I understand that sometimes it's okay to, to give up, right? But not when like the, you, you cannot give up easily. And uh, especially when the, the situation, the life gets tough. We know the life is not easy, right? But the thing is, once you compete, you, will, you, you first of all, you're gonna face someone that probably you never see before, right? And the person, the, in that person's mind, she wants to put you to sleep. She wants to extend your arm enough until you tap. If you don't tap, you're gonna break. So that's the thing. <coughs> the person will put you in that position. So you, you, you ha and you have to trust the person that when, when they tap, when you tap. They have, to, they will let go of your arm, understand, or your neck, or whatever. So, once you, everything you do, that you repeat, 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 you manage to just like get the understanding, a small understanding of it, right? You start understanding things. You start to just like get used to uh, talking about the competition. You start to get used to adrenaline. You get nervous. Yes, you, the adrenaline comes pop up. Yes, you will. But the thing is, like, when it's new, you, you, you just, like, freak out, you know? You're just like, wow, I cannot do that anymore. That's not for me. Oh, I hate this feeling, blah, blah, blah. But once you do over and over and over and over again, you just simply, like, 
you understand it, which is like better than like that first feeling. And now, now that feeling is not so scary, like scary like uh, it was when you start, right? If if you stop thinking about the adrenaline, then the, that you're nervous, and then you want to face someone that you never seen before, and then the guy will smash you, uh, the the guy or the girl they're gonna come hard. To, to beat you up and then you're still gonna step on the mat with these people so why don't you take that decision that you, you you're putting on that um, going to fight on stepping on the mat why don't you apply that in your life when you go into a hard time in a job when you're having a tough time in a relationship in, uh, with your family whatever so this is what I like to, 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 to use. That's how I like to use jiu-jitsu competitions. Like for me now, yes, I, I, I want to compete yeah, because I love competition, blah, blah, blah. But to my students, for those who don't want to be competitors, I tell them to at least try once, you know, and just to feel that, to get the challenging, you know, like, um, oh no, I'm going to challenge myself against someone I've seen before. I, know if I'm, I, I don't know if I'm not ready, if I'm ready or not. But then like, it takes a lot for like you step on the mat, step on the mat to, to face someone you've never seen before. Uh, and then you're gonna grapple with that person that might put you to sleep or might break your arm or of course you're gonna do that to, to the person as well, but that as the first time or you're just like, man, all those things can happen. So that means you have like courage to, to, to do it, you know, like, yeah, you are. Yes, you 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 are tough enough to 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 do those things. I've seen people with no experience stepping on the cage, get into the cage, fight MMA, get punched in the face, get elbow in the face, get knee to the face. You know, they're just not scared, right? They decide and then just go. So, what I like to say is that, like, man, once you say yes for your first competition, that's already like gold medal for you, you know, because you allow yourself to go into something new. Right, that for sure gonna change your life. My 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 experience is that I, I went through so many things, good and bad in my life, and for sure the experience that I got from competition is what helped me the most. You know, like uh, a bad day in my job, I had a bad day with my parents. You know, like so I didn't panic. So I didn't go back to the competition where. We, we understand that if we are inside a submission, someone got us in a submission, we just like, if you panic, you tap, right? So I just don't panic. Um, and I try to find a way to escape. So I try to find a way to get out of that bad situation and then go back to a good situation, which means go back to a good position. I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna tap out, so I don't wanna give up. And then I don't want to get destroyed for the, that, the bad situation that is going through my life right now, that I'm going through. So my advice for all of you, if you go for the competition, but, oh, I'm not, a, I'm not a champion, I'm not that good, no worries. You know, like that, that competition, this challenge will change you somehow. You know, maybe, you, maybe you'll never be a world champion. Never, you know? But maybe you would be a better husband, a better wife, you know, uh, be a better employee in your job, be a better human being, you know, because that's the whole idea. Sometimes, yeah, few, few, few people, they, they will reach the top, they will be a champion, the gold medals and things like that, which is nice. But we have to be honest, like some people, they won't be a world champion. And uh, that doesn't mean that they, they cannot compete. That doesn't mean that they have to stop, you know, so yes, you have to keep going, yes, you have to keep trying, and then in spite of the result, this is like, you have to, of course, everybody wanna win a medal, right? You just have to keep doing. I don't know when it's gonna come, but if, if I give up, I know you'll never come, you understand? So just see things like that, like everything you're going through in your life, okay, just to be really quick, um, just, See your, your whole life, the situation that you're going through, right? Good or bad, and then face it like you're into jiu-jitsu competition. Or even a role, 
then uh, you are rolling with your partner in the gym. Sometimes I'm not training a specific technique, I'm just rolling it's like uh, an open mat. And then you were, if, if you were training for the competition, you, you, start, you, you get that mentality that I don't want to lose, right? Even though I'm rolling the gym. So there are things that you have to respect. I have to breathe, I have to be calm, I have to act, I have to step back, you know? And then when things get bad, like when the time comes that someone is trying to pass your guard and you have to hipscape, you have to bridge to recover your guard, that's where you bring to your life. You know, like, oh, I'm going to this situation right now, it's really bad and really sad. Hey, yo, hipscape, all of it. Keep moving, you know? You cannot just sit down and cry, you cannot just like tap. If you stop, you're gonna get penalized for stalling. And then your life just gets stuck. And the guy just gets aggressive. And then he comes harder on you. Understand? So this is how I like to feel things, to see, like, that helped me a lot, you know? And when I'm in bad, bad situations in my life, I'm just like, no, yeah, I have to escape, you know? I have to get out of the situation and get to a better position, like, get the problem in your closed garden, choke them all. Hope you guys like it, okay? So, like, subscribe. I'm new in this thing, so I hope to, I hope you guys like it. Uh, leave your comment below, okay? Uh, let me know. If you like, if it was positive, um, if you want to let other people know, please uh, share with your friends, okay? That's the first video in a humble way. I hope you all like it. Us.